thought I'd just do a small update here on the aquaponics build. Uh, this is I got a lot of it plumbed. This is inside the tank right here. Uh, this is not this is not glued in right here. I'm going to actually make the pipe go all the way across, and I might even put a cross section in there, a T, to be able to pick up all the the solids off the bottom. Probably don't need it, but I'm one of those kind of overkill people. Uh, if anybody has a better suggestion on that, hey, just let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it. So there we go. We got them coming in the unisil right there. Um, let me go outside and show. Let me. Oh, actually, here's my drain too. It goes outside. I'll hook up some more stuff to that as well. Let me take you outside and show you the rest of it. Okay, and then we come on outside here, and you can see the pipe coming out of the uh, from the the fish tank there. It goes down here to two shutoff valves, one into each one of these barrels. Still got to finish some plumbing in there. This one comes out, goes down to the third barrel, which I'll have some uh, uh, filters in. This one does the same thing. It comes out, goes into that third barrel, and I can alternate these for cleaning and so forth. And as I've explained in one of my uh, other barrel about the swirl, the swirl filter and the uh, Oh crud, you guys know what I'm talking about, what kind of barrel that is, uh, what kind of filter it is, goodness, oh radial flow, duh, brain fart, okay anyways, uh, so I can switch from one to the other, and I can, like I said, I can stick an air stone in here in either one of these while the other one is doing the filter and really turn up the solids and use that material in uh, live garden plants that I have throughout the area, or I can just let it settle on the bottom and suck it out without losing a lot of the water, so anyways, there it goes down this one and it comes up out of here and goes down to my sump tank now my sump tank originally was going to be sitting all the way in the ground but when I hadn't got it put in there yet I had a lot of rain and that hole just filled up and it would not drain and usually my soil drains really well around here but for some reason we've been just getting so much rain this year that it's not so I decided I'm going to go ahead and keep it a little bit above ground anyway it's still low enough that I only had to set my plants up very high, any kind of grow beds or anything high enough, you know, waist high. But there it is. Okay, I got the barrels in place, got the sump tank in place, got the fish tank in place. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting the grow bed areas and getting some pumps and stuff. But, I, you know, I have, I've got a lot to uh, think about when it comes to that. So if you guys have any suggestions, man, I'd love to hear them. Uh, you know, more minds definitely can help out sometimes and so I really appreciate it uh, you know plus it's the middle of winter right now and uh, even though it is 80 degrees <laughs> 20 degrees the other day 80 degrees now it's crazy but anyways uh, yeah let's look forward to you guys feedback and comments suggestions uh, please subscribe help me out let's, uh, keep this aquaponics thing growing here it's a very good source of growing food and it's very fun and it's also very very addicting here's a back view of the, the pipes coming out. Anyways guys, hey, I really appreciate y'all. Thanks a lot and look forward to hearing your feedback.